Hey everybody, welcome back. Happy Saturday. Um, today we're going to continue on with our um, presentation talking about back pain. And we're going to cover some um, back strengthening exercises that you can do. So the first part, we focus more on flexibility and stretching. And today we're going to focus on strengthening the muscles of your abdominals um, as well as your back area to help prevent some back pain. Again, if you're doing any of these exercises and you feel any pain, um, please make sure that you get evaluated by a physician. Um, you shouldn't feel any extreme or sharp pains while you're doing these exercises. Um, and as always, before you start an exercise routine, we always recommend that you consult with your physician. Um, so these days we've been sitting around maybe a little bit more. Uh, maybe some treatments that you've had have left you a little bit more fatigued, so you're sitting or laying down more frequently than you normally would, and you might be having some um, back issues. So hopefully you'll find uh, some relief with these exercises. Hope everybody has a great week, and we'll see you next week. So let's get started. The first exercise we're going to get started with is one that you've seen before. Um, we're going to start off with a glute bridge. So we're going to start off down on the ground. You're going to lay flat on your back. Do. Knees are going to be bent. You're going to go up on your heels. You're going to contract your glutes. You're going to push those hips up so that your body is in a nice straight line. So again, your shoulders, your hips, and your knees should be in a straight line. You're going to hold for a couple of seconds and then come on down. That's going to be one repetition. Back up, squeeze the glutes, and come on down. That's three. So an important part of protecting your back is making sure that your abdominals are nice and strong. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on doing a partial crunch to increase those abdominal muscles and increase the abdominal strength. Um, again, you're not going to do a full crunch. That can put a little too much stress on the spine. So we're going to start off with a partial crunch. So we're going to start off by laying on our back. your chest or you can put your hands to the side of your ears but you don't want to pull over on your neck or pull up your neck as you're lifting up. You're going to contract the abdominals, focus on getting those shoulder blades off the floor, coming back down. Again, you can have your arms across the chest. Keep those feet on the floor. Make sure your lower back and your tailbone are also on the floor while you're lifting up. Maintain neutral space right here. So I always say picture a, an orange underneath your chin. And you don't want to make orange juice, so you don't want to squeeze that. Do, um, a forearm plank. So this is a little bit of an advanced move. So if you need to start off um, on your knees rather than on your toes for this part, that would be totally fine. You want to build yourself up nice and slowly. So I'm going to go down. I'm going to put my elbows right underneath my shoulders. I'm going to bring my feet straight out. And I'm going to make sure my back is in a nice straight line. I'm going to bring my eyes towards the floor so my neck is in a nice neutral position. And you can start off simply by holding for 10 seconds. Take a break. Repeat that probably three or four more times. Um, as you're getting stronger, you can hold the plank for a little bit longer. So build up to 15 seconds, 20 seconds, and then 30 seconds.
guys, we're actually going to do a side plank. So we're going to focus again on building up the abdominal muscles, um, the obliques. So we're going to start off, we're going to start by laying on your side. I'm going to place that elbow underneath my shoulder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my hips off the ground. So you should be in a nice straight line from here. If this is actually feeling a little bit too stressful, you can put your bottom knee on the ground and then still focus on keeping and maintaining that alignment. That'll take some pressure off the spine. And again, you're gonna hold this for about 10 to 15 seconds and then come back down and then you'll repeat. Again, slowly start to build up your time as you're getting a little bit stronger. Okay, next up we have our Superman. So we're actually gonna lie on our stomachs for this one. Be flat all the way down. What you're going to do is you're going to contract your abs, you're going to focus on getting your hands, you're going to focus on getting your hands and your feet off the floor. So you're going to lift up, hold for one or two seconds, come down, lift up, come down. Alternately, you can keep your feet on the ground and focus on just bringing up the chest. eyes are pointing down to the floor. Okay, the last exercise that we're going to do today um, is the clamshell. So again, we're going to start off on our sides and go all the way down. Rest your head on your arms. Your legs are going to be stacked one on top of the other with your knees bent. You're going to keep your feet together. You're going to squeeze your glutes and you're going to open up that leg. And you're going to bring that leg down nice and slow. Exhale, lift it up. Inhale, bring it down. So again, we're going to do 8 to 12 on this side. And then we'll repeat and do the same thing on the other side. 